Hello, 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 hello. Here we are. It's Michael E. Gerber speaking to you from Carlsbad, California, the most beautiful place on the planet God created just for you and just for me. Now, please, let's not get into an argument about whose place is more beautiful. I don't want to quibble with you. All I want to do is to share something with you that's absolutely key to your life, to what you're going to contribute to your life and to the people around you. We're all here, I'm saying, born in the image of God, born to create. And what we create is a product of what we understand. And what we understand is a product of what we've experienced. And what we've experienced is a product of our imagination and our absolute determination to do something in this living space we have been given that we have never imagined we would do. I want to share that with you. I want to share a point of view with you. Now understand I've been sharing this point of view for over 40 years. And so there's no secret here. You know the teller of tales, the one that says, I used to be a bum and now I'm a hero. I used to be broke and now I'm a multimillionaire. And you can be a multimillionaire too because you're broke like I used to be too. You've heard that story. That story is everywhere. It's become an absolutely outlandish cliche. In short, I used to be a bum, but I'm no longer a bum because I learned a secret I'm going to share with you. And everybody says it, and everybody presumes to do it, and yet still, more people are broke today than ever before. So if all that was true, how come most people haven't obviously learned what to do? I'm going to tell you why that is true. I'm going to tell you what's missing in this picture. Everybody sells this idea as though it's a secret that, in fact, once you know it, you can, in fact, benefit from it. But it's not true. In short, I have been sharing my, in quotes, secret with every one of you. It's no secret. I've written it now in 29 books. I'm about to publish another book called The Five Essential Skills of Independent-Minded People. But hear me, the problem isn't that the secret isn't available. The problem is that even once we share the secret with you, even when it's no longer a secret, it still is a secret. And it's a still a secret because you haven't experienced the truth of it. And the reason you haven't experienced the truth of it is because you haven't become a true student of it. I'm going to bring you to school. I call it radical you. I mean radical you. I mean radical self-employment. I mean starting right where you are, who you are, doing what you do. Knowing what you know and not knowing what you don't. Starting out right now as a student in my school, radical you, radical self-employment. The only job on the planet that is important to every single one of you. The five essential skills of independent-minded people. I want to touch the independent mind in you. I want to bring you to a place you never imagined you could be before. Not to become a millionaire, because it's not about becoming a millionaire. Not to become the millionaire next door, because it's not about becoming the millionaire next door. It's about truly discovering who you are. The gift you were given even before you were born by, yes, that higher power we call God. You might call it the universe. You can call it anything you wish. But that higher power lives within you. But it's your job to unleash it. My job 
is to simply share with you for the rest of my days here on this planet. Now at 81, I figure another maybe 20, another 20 years I've got to share something with you that in fact you'll not understand until you do it. And it goes something like this, inspiration, education, application, implementation, continuous improvement. Inspiration, education, application, implementation, and continuous improvement. Inspiration produces an epiphany. Education produces understanding. Application produces knowing through personal experience. Implementation means expanding your reach, and continuous improvement means improving upon it again and again and again and again. So simple. The five essential skills of concentration, discrimination, organization, innovation, and communication. Concentration is the skill to be present here, right now as I'm speaking to you. Discrimination is the ability to focus your attention on what's most important. What's most important right now while I'm speaking to you? What I'm speaking to you. Organization, the transformation of chaos into order. Because without the transformation of chaos into order, nothing of any meaning will ever happen. Innovation, called the best way skill. It's going from where we are to where we never imagined we could by continually pursuing a better way, a better way, a better way, a better way. That's the continuous improvement I was speaking about earlier. And finally, communication. We're communicating now. I'm communicating with you. You're communicating with me. You're communicating with yourself. I'm communicating with myself. We're in a bubble, you and I. Join me here in this bubble. Now, last week I tried something out, and it was just a freaking disaster. I gave you a link, and a guy who is a specialist in linkdom told me what a dumb link it was. So I, of course it was, and I just got it um, just moments before I shared it with you, and it was just dumb. So I'm going to give you the link you're going to go to, because I'm going to extend another invitation to you all. That invitation is really, 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 really neat, because it's an invitation to join me in my new dreaming room online. I'm in the midst of delivering it. In fact, we're coming up to session three in the dreaming room. You didn't join. Oh boy, you should have joined that dreaming room. Not only, first of all, did I reduce the fee, the tuition for the dreaming room from 5,000 to 2,000. Not only did I do that, but in fact, I'm doing this myself with you over seven sessions. 90 minutes each. People who have joined me in this dreaming room, their minds are being blown. They're suddenly able to see something they really never saw before. You're going to be able to do that too. So hear me, I'm going to start a new one and I'm going to start it in early September and I'm going to start it just for you and I want a whole bunch of you folks on that dreaming room. Hear me, you get to do it for the same 2000 no 5000 It's really, really simple, and I'm going to give you a gift when you do it. I'm going to give you a gift of the $295 course that I spoke about last week. So not only are you going to get the Dreaming Room for a small fraction of the cost of the investment, but you're also going to get a gift of the course. And all you have to do to sign up for that dreaming room is go to Gerber, G-E-R-B-E-R-81, my age, dot com. So the LinkedIn expert is going to say Gerber. That was smart. Gerber81 dot com. Go to it, sign up, sign up immediately, and I'll tell you exactly when it's going to begin in September after you do. 
but you got to sign up for it. You got to take a seat because there are only going to be 25 seats available in this second dreaming room online. I am having such a profoundly powerful time with the folks who joined us in the first offer that I made of the Dreaming Room online. And I, I could share with you the things they're saying, but I'm not going to do that right now. Just go to Gerber81.com, buy your seat. There are only 25 of them. Only 25 of them. My expectation is they're going to fill up really, really fast. So do it and do it now. So what are we here to do? I want to share a little story with you. I have a bunch of folks who have joined me in what I call the program. I'll tell you more about the program at another time. But they join me in the program and they always, as we're going through the process of the dream, the vision, the purpose, the mission, the job, the practice, the business, the enterprise, as we go through that, people are continually having difficulty. They get um, questions. What do I need to do? What do I need to know? How do I do that? How do I think about that? But that's part of the part of the course. You understand? That's just what everybody goes through when they're feeling confused. And everybody gets confused. It's what we do. It's what we do to avoid actually learning. Do you understand? We get confused to avoid taking action. Because the action involves risk. And the risk is, one, I might lose money. Two, I might look stupid. Three, I might do it badly. Four, I might, and on and on and on and on. You all know about risk. Well, so we get confused. We get confused rather than doing what I'm teaching you to do. So, for example, I just taught you to come join me as a student. A student in what? in my entrepreneur school called Radical U. That's Radical a U, not Y-O-U, but it might be Y-O-U, because who else is going to join me in that school, that extraordinary entrepreneur school, in which we're going to discover your dream, your vision, your purpose, and your mission, which is the platform for growth. Because without a dream, a vision, a purpose, and a mission, anything you do following that is meaningless. And you've got to understand to awaken the new entrepreneur within you, to awaken the, your imagination to the point where you can see the world through completely different eyes than you've ever seen the world before. And that's happening every place people are studying the work that I brought to them. Not because once I was a bum and now I'm a hero. Not because of that old story, that old cliche, but because it works. Hear me. Because it works. That's the only reason that, in fact, people discover the transformational reality that's available to them. So hear me. A very weird, one of my students in, in the program, his name's Will, and Will asked a question about a problem he was happening, and I said to Will, it's all one thing, Will. You've all read The E-Myth Revisited, Awakening the Entrepreneur Within, Beyond the E-Myth, watched the course, attended the Dreaming Room, are participating in the implementation of all that. So it's all there from the very beginning. You and I right now, folks, are in the very beginning, a blank piece of paper and beginner's mind. That's where we are right now. We're here before Radical you. So it's all there from the very beginning. Our difficulty when we have one, and we all have one, is seeing it from 3,000 feet from above, looking down on the entirety of it. This is the entrepreneur's view, looking down from the in, on the entirety of it. The minute you do that, the minute you do that, you can't help but see the process, capital T, capital P, the process, the linear process from 1 to 1,000. The 1,000 depends upon the 1, but you can't get there without going step by step by step by step. Keep the whole in mind, Will. 
Keep the whole in mind, all of you, and you'll see each and every particle in glorious living color. Keep the whole in mind. Rise above where you are because we're going to be constantly reminding you to rise above where you are because where you are is in confusion. Every single stunningly singular one of us lives in confusion until we're not. But the only way we become unconfused is when we can see the entirety of it from above. Some say, keep the end in mind. I'm saying, reach from above and rise above it in this galactic view from above and you'll suddenly see how everything fits together. Everything, everything. So I'm gonna answer some questions. There's a gentleman in Paris. Folks, you are from everywhere. And I have folks everywhere learning how to go from a company of one to a company of 1,000. And this gentleman, his name is uh, Hugh Hermann from Paris, France, had actually four questions, quick ones. How did you make your first million? How long did it take you? How long would it take today? I never even thought about it. I never even thought about it, Herman. Hugh, I'm sorry, I never even thought about it. I couldn't tell you the date I made my first million. I don't think about, and I never did think about making my first million. It never entered my mind. The whole idea of the millionaire next door, the whole idea of a millionaire has never entered my mind, my imagination, or my interest. Now understand that might be a fault of mine, but I don't believe so. I believe, in fact, if you keep thinking million, 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 you're going to miss the entire point. The only million I think about is having a million students, a million students in our new enterprise, the name of which is making it on your own in America or wherever you happen to live over there in Paris, France. Radical self employment. Everybody gets to do that. Everybody gets to do that. That's the only million I have in mind. I call it, in fact, the 10 million. It has nothing to do with money. It has to do with people. The second qu question that, um, that um, Hugh asked was, how long would it take you today to mentor somebody to your same level of success? <laughs> Come on. I mean, it doesn't even... It's not a question I'm interested in, you understand? It's taken me 40 years to be here. How long is it going to take you? Who knows? Depends upon how good a student you are. Depends upon how determined you are. Depends upon how avidly committed you are. Depends upon whether or not you're going to work as hard as I've done. Depends whether or not you're as passionate as I am. Depends upon, depends upon, depends upon, depends upon. You understand? It depends upon obvious things that, in fact, everybody ignores. So here, it's not from going from above to becoming a hero. It's about being a great student. That's what you need to be. So all you need to say is, Michael, I want to learn, I want to learn, I want to learn. Well, then come to my class. Whatever class I happen to be offering you, come to my class and I'll teach you. And I will teach you step by step by step by step. A dream, a vision, a purpose, a mission, a job, a practice, a business, an enterprise. Why do I keep on repeating that? Because that's the process that I just spoke about. What is the legacy you want to leave? I've stated that explicitly here in these Facebook meetings with you. I'm here to transform the state of small business worldwide. I said that at the start of my company in 1977. Our dream is to transform the state of small business worldwide. Our dream is to become the preeminent provider of economic development services worldwide. My dream is to see millions upon millions upon millions upon millions of people just like you transforming the world around them by working on their lives, not just in their lives, applying the process 
that in fact we had perfected over all these years, perfected to the point where I can deliver it to you. So understand when you're done joining me, when you're done joining me in this online dreaming room, I'm going to provide you with a gift that's so unbelievable of the program at only $39.95 a month. Just imagine every single one of you awakened new entrepreneurs can actually apply what I've learned over these past 40 years, indeed in the 40 before them. You can apply it in your life. You can go to work on your small company to create a company of 1,000 beyond the e-myth, the evolution of an enterprise from a company of one to a company of 1,000. Everybody gets to do it. Everybody gets to do it. That's my legacy. I don't know what yours is. And he goes on to ask the fourth question, what opportunities do you see that you don't have time to take advantage of? Oh my God, there are millions of them. There are millions of them. But when I talk about concentration, discrimination, organization, innovation, communication, you have to understand my job is to avoid thinking about all the opportunities I don't have time to take advantage of. Because the opportunity I do have time to take advantage of is so immense. Because if I can do what I just said I'm here to do, and in fact, people tell me, Michael, you've already done it with the millions of people you've touched with your work. But if I'm actually going to do this, not for a million, but a billion people on the planet, in every country on the planet, if I'm actually going to bring you the ability to go from a company of one to a company of 1,000, and it actually works, it's not an, app, an empty headed promise. It works. And if that's true, what do I need to do anything else for? I don't. Just that. So thank you, Hugh, from Paris, France. What does it mean to focus on your business as a product? Robert asked that question from Portland, Oregon. Robert, very simply, Apple is a product. When public, Apple was sold to its shareholders. Um, Microsoft is a product. It went public, sold to its shareholders. Every business on the planet is a commercial enterprise, a product capable of growing exponentially. And there's somebody out there who wants to acquire that product called your business that has the ability to grow exponentially. They want it. They want it in the worst way. There is a great untapped marketplace of institutions, organizations, companies, individuals waiting to acquire a great growing company. That's what I mean by a product. And an entrepreneur is an inventor of that product. You follow me? Just like Steve Jobs was. I call it the Jobs effect. You can do that too, is what I'm saying. And my job is to teach you how to do that and to accompany you and to piss you off when you go off on a tangent. In fact, instead of focusing on the most important thing, discovering the most important thing is what concentration is all about and discrimination is all about. And then organizing it to turn it from chaos into order and then continually improving upon it is what innovation is all about. And then telling your story, telling your story, telling your story, telling your living, luscious, absolutely mind-blowing story to everybody who's willing to stand still and listen to it. You got that? That's what you get to do. Alex in Seattle, Washington asks, what systems do you use to hire or fire employees? My systems, Alex, the ones I created to do that through innovation, education, application, implementation, continuous improvement, by applying those absolutely five essential skills of concentration, discrimination, organization, innovation, communication, 
by understanding what the story must be in order for somebody to be attracted to us because of our movement, because of the great growing thing we're here to produce and to live and to expand beyond where it is, to touch millions upon millions upon millions of people because they're inspired, because we taught them, because we trained them, because we coached them, because we mentored them. We infused them with the energy that exists within our cause, within our movement. Every entrepreneur, every new entrepreneur has a movement. Do you understand if it's Domino's freaking pizza, it was a movement to the guy who created it. If it was A.L. Williams, Art Williams, that brilliant entrepreneurial genius who created that extraordinary company, a movement. Do you understand if it's not a movement, it ain't moving. And if it ain't moving, it's not alive. It's a stone. Hear me, I'll teach you how to do that. Not because I'm so smart, but because we discovered how to do that. How? By doing it. You see, great ideas turned into action. Jill of San Antonio, Texas says, what do you think has been the biggest change in small business over the years? There hasn't been a biggest change in small business over the years, Jill. In fact, if there's anything, it's the franchise movement. Franchising, you might say, is the biggest change in small business over the years. And it's absolutely elegant. Unfortunately, most people who start their own business don't understand the power of the franchise, the McDonald's effect, as I would refer to it. And the McDonald's effect is very, very simple. In one respect, it's like the Jobs effect, but a bit different. The McDonald's effect essentially says if you can't turnkey it, you can't manage it. If you can't manage it, you can't grow it. If you can't grow it, you can't survive. And so the McDonald's effect, you might say, is the greatest thing that's occurred over the past three, four decades. Vince of Lexington, Kentucky, how does one finance their new business? Bootstrap it, Vince, bootstrap it. Go to work on it, go to work in it, build it, attract people to it, and it will fund itself until such point as it's proven itself to work. So go to work on it in exactly the way I'm going to teach you how to do it, Vince. All you have to do is join me in the dreaming room. Go to Gerber81.com. Jill, Vince, each and every one of you, do that, and you'll understand that because you will do that, not just think about that. Thinking about all this stuff is fine, but all it's going to do is aggravate you. Because until you do this, you won't understand this. And until you understand this, you won't have an experience of this. And until you have an experience of this, you'll not be able to expand this. And until you have the ability to expand this, you're not going to be able to go out and improve this. So everybody, you got the point. Michael in Denver, Colorado. I need to get back to the roots of my company and envision the next generation of, in quotes, us. How do I go about changing this mindset? Michael, is this a setup? Did I just tell you how to do that? Michael, did I just tell you how to do that? You start at the beginning, Michael, with a blank piece of paper and beginner's mind. You become a student of mine. And you become a student of mine very, very simply. You simply invest $2,000. It's that simple. Lousy $2,000 thousand dollars and spend seven weeks with me personally what an extraordinary gift with me personally and I guarantee you I will start us all over again Sandra Calgary Canada what's the most important habit of an entrepreneur stick to it if -ness. in short know what you want my dream, my vision, my purpose, my mission, and then stick with it. Stick with it. Stick with it. Step one, step two, step three, step four. Persistence. Dogged persistence. Going through the highs and the lows of it. 
going through everything you're going to have to go through, just like a white belt and a yellow belt and a brown belt and a blue belt and a black belt, whatever, whatever, whatever. It's like a martial art. It's like a dojo, your company, your life, your practice hall. Do you hear me? You're going to have to go to work on yourself while you're going to work in yourself, while you're going to work on your dream, on your vision, on your purpose, on your mission. And I'm going to teach you every single step of the way. So it's so obvious, Sandra. Just join me in the Dreaming Room online. Starting at September. Gerber81.com. 8-1, the number, my age. Just do it. In your years, what is the most important lesson that you've learned? Joe in Vancouver, Washington. Well, Joe, I've just shared you what the most important lessons I've learned. In fact, I'm willing to share that with you again and again and again and again until I really piss you off, Joe. Hear me. Just do it. Nike says that. Just do it. Stop thinking about it. Just do it. Reach out. Click on. Just do it. Sign up. I want to see you all in September in my second online dreaming room. This most magical of magical of magical experiences where you get to awaken the new entrepreneur within you to discover your dream, your vision, your purpose, and your mission. Yes, I'll repeat it again and again and again. Why? Because without it, you're nothing. Without it, you're just wandering. Without it, you're just confused. The state most people stay in simply because they refuse to act. Yeah, but I can't afford it, Michael. Yeah, but I don't have time, Michael. Yeah, but it's the wrong time of the day, Michael. Yeah, but, yeah, but, yeah, but, yeah, but. Listen, I'm working with a whole bunch of people in the dreaming room that I offered to you right now in Berlin, in Paris, in Nigeria, in Singapore, all over the world, all different times. That particular dreaming room is being held at 4 p.m. Pacific time. That's when I do it. Well, 4 p.m. Pacific time is 1 a.m. in Berlin. Hazel, my lovely guest in that dreaming room in Berlin, she's got to be up at 1 a.m. to spend 90 minutes with me. Hear me. It's exactly the same in Singapore. It's exactly the same in Nigeria. It's exactly the same in South Africa. It's exact. And think about all of these different countries and all of these different jobs these people have and these businesses they have doing all kinds of different things. How in the world can they all come to the very same process that I'm delivering to you? And each and every single one of them are discovering their dream, their vision, their purpose, and their mission. How is that possible that there is a universal solution to what appears to be a personal problem? Understand, it isn't personal. It's impersonal. Hear me, entrepreneurship ain't personal. No matter what everybody tells you, no matter what all that narcissistic claptrap tells you, it ain't personal. It ain't about me. It's about them. Because if it isn't about them, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, if it ain't about them, it's about nothing. It's about becoming the millionaire next door. What a stupid, 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 tragic waste of energy. That happens when you're doing the right thing. That happens when you're doing the right thing in the right way. But understand when you talk to anybody for whom that happens, they don't make the point of that because it doesn't matter to them. Do you understand? It ain't the money. It's never been about the money. It was never about the money when Steve Jobs started at 20 years old. It wasn't about the money when Bill Gates started at 21. It wasn't about the money when Anita Roddick started. It wasn't about the money when... Mary Kay Ash started. It's never been about the money for a true entrepreneur. It's about the meaning. It's not the money, it's the meaning. I want to share the meaning of your life with you. Do you hear me? That's the legacy I'm here to leave behind. And I want to share a method, a method, a practical, hands-on, day-to-day method 
to awaken the student within you who's ready to apply what I'm here to help you to do. And Brian in Las Cruces, New Mexico, last question of the day, what role does spiritual values play in your business life? Brian, it's a great question. You can't avoid spiritual values. If you've read my book, The Most Successful Small Business in the World, The Ten Principles, one of those principles has to do with God. Now understand one of those principles, one of those ten principles have to do with God. But every single one of those principles have to do with the spiritual nature of our lives. So you understand you don't have to believe in my religion. You don't have to take my religious belief to heart. You simply have to take the great creator to heart. And you've been given the gift of your life to express that here now. So I love you all. It's been a delight being with you all. Gerber81.com. Don't let me down. Don't let me down because by letting me down, you're letting yourself down. Don't let me down, ladies and gentlemen. Don't think about anything I've said here. Just do it. Click on Gerber81.com and sign up. And I'll see you in the new dreaming room, my second online dreaming room, which is going to run parallel with my first online dreaming room. Separate group. I'm making it available to you. Sign on. Don't argue with me. Sign on. And if any single one of you have a question you need answered, hear me. Michael, that's my first name, M-I-C-H-A-E-L, at michaelegerber.com. Don't leave out the E because you won't find me. Michael at michaelegerber.com. You can email me directly. And guess what? I'll answer you. Not a look-alike, not a somewhat like, but the old guy himself. I'll answer you. Why? Because I'm serious about this. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm here to transform the state of small business worldwide. I'm here to create the preeminent provider of economic development services worldwide. I'm here to awaken the entrepreneur within every single solitary soul on the planet so that you can transform the state of your community, community-wild. Every single one of you get to do that. Isn't that extraordinary? I think it is. So thank you. Love being here. Love seeing you. You're so spectacular. <laughs> Isn't life grand? Take care. Bye-bye.